Welcome to the last video in the Notion Quick Start Guide. And I just want to say I am incredibly proud of you. You are taking your education seriously. You are dedicating time to learn this tool. And I promise the more you learn, the more you practice with this tool, it's going to change your life. You see, what Notion actually does is it helps save and organize important information so you could quickly save it where it needs to be. And then you could quickly retrieve it when you need it. So in this video, I'm going to share how I'm using Notion to quickly save important information in my life and then how I could quickly retrieve it so that I could just quickly execute and not worry about where are the files, where, what, what do I have to do next or any of that. None of the information is stored in my brain. All of this is stored in Notion and Notion's helping me stay organized. So let's dive into my Notion workspace and take a look around. Welcome to my Notion workspace. I'm going to show you five of my favorite lists in Notion. And so we're going to start off with my book list. I like to read a lot of books, but it, it's very hard to stay organized with all the books. Are they related to different categories? Some are related to business, some are related to marketing, some are related to like science fiction. And so how do I stay organized with all my notes? And then how do I stay organized with even all the notes for the book? So that's what Notion is helping me do here. Notion is helping me store a list of all my books. And then I have these extra columns that are helping me collect and store extra information that's important related to the books. For example, it's helping me store a description about the book that I want to be important to remember. The status, where is it? Is it read next? Is it in progress? Um, did I finish it and love it? Did I not? And did I just finish it? Um, is it related to an interest? An interest is just a generic uh, tag that I use in Notion. It's actually a list and database, which we'll see. And I just use it to just collect all, whether it be books, notes, uh, tasks, projects. If there's a theme along them related to an interest, I'll use a theme to kind of like, uh, it's like a global tag in Notion. There's a priority. Some books are more important to read than others. And also the location. Some are stored in Audible. Some are stored on my PDF uh, or on my voice stream reader. Some I have the physical books. Some are stored in MP3 file on Google Drive. So this is helping me know exactly where are the locations for all my books. So when I go and I need to read it, where is it? Let's dive into one of the actual books to take, for example. So I'm going to search for one book that I know it's here. US life. So here's that one book. So if we open it up, we can see all my book notes. <laughs> we'll take the outline. Um, all my book notes for this, including the book, you have the traction. So I, I stored the PDF of the file here. I have a related video and then here's all my notes related to the book. So this is important that's helping me remember my notes by repetition. So whenever I'm like, oh, what were the top 10 disciplines? I could go back to my notes, review them, and I can review them as often as I need to until it's moved from my short-term memory into my long-term memory. So let's take a look at my next list. <clears throat> I use this list called interest as general tags across all like books, tasks, um, all sorts of things. And so even education could be themed. Um, so each theme is just a collection of them. Um, it could be for business, for passions, for interests. So that's what I'm using for interest for themes. Let's go for education. What am I learning? I like to keep track of like all the different things that I'm learning so I can see what courses I'm taking, um, what interests are they related to, why do I need to learn it. If we go into one of them, so if I open up, this is how I'm organizing my own kind of like, I wish I had this in college, honestly. <laughs> um, on the left hand side, I can see where I'm at in my course. I can see where are all the books that I'm reading for this. And at the very bottom, I can see my notebooks where I have all my notes. So everything that I need for class, or my own personal education, is all in one folder in Notion in my education list. Next one I have is documents. Uh, these are like notebooks uh, and documents that I save for like one notebook for all notes or across some theme, for, some, for example. And this one, probably the most powerful one, this is my task list. This is related to my projects and this helps me organize all the tasks and projects that I have to do both personally in my business at work 
everything is organized and nicely themed where I could go back and say, oh, how do we do this? And I could open it up, see all the things that I needed to do or what did I do? Um, and I could reference them all here. So these are my five most uh, popular tasks or most popular pages that I'm using in Notion. I have much, much more. But just to give you an idea of Notion to store a list of something that's important that you want to save. We gave you those five important lists in the beginning. We have, um, you have your reading list, you have your to-do list, you have a personal CRM to remember names and people, you have a content calendar if you are a creator of some sort, and then you also have your reading list. So those are there to get you started. And that's how I'm using Notion. It's taken me like years to like master Notion and like learn all the deep dives of all the configuration changes and best practices to set it up. And then even how to set it up to build apps so that I can organize things in a workflow that makes my productivity um, even faster. This is the end of the Notion Quick Start Guide, but it's not the end of your education. I want to invite you to join me in the Notion Beginner to Advanced course. There, I could take you deep into Notion where you'll learn the skills to build any database that you want. By the end of the course, people are going to be so impressed with how organized you are, how you remember every detail, and how you're so productive. And the secret is because you took the time to master Notion. What I don't want to happen to you is that you try Notion for a few days, you give up, and then you go and try other tools, and then you staying frustrated going how do i stay organized with all this information and i tried notion but it was just too complex and you just gave up and you didn't keep the momentum don't lose the momentum click the link below and i look forward to seeing you in the notion beginner to advanced course thank you for your time